day one on Oakfield with Seasons. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are back on Oakfield. Oh, yeah. And it's time to get some work done. Now, we have purchased some stuff that might help us out just a little bit. What we've got here is we've got to wait for the back of the JCB right here. Let's just make sure that this will actually work. There we go. Got that hooked up. I don't even have my uh, windows up. There we go. And let's get a bucket. Ooh, there's actually a lot of weight on the back now. Um... Yep, that's definitely not what I wanted to happen. Um, does this not take tele... What? Does this not take telehandler attachments? Don't tell me that this... Oh, come on. Well, we've got a telehandler that doesn't take telehandler attachments. It takes normal front loader attachments. I can't believe that. Come on now. Probably should have known that ahead of time if I'd done a little bit more research beforehand. But you know what? It'll be okay. It, it's all right. So we are rocking and rolling, having a good time over here. One thing I forgot about is the fertilizer spreader that we bought. Cannot actually, like, purchase stuff. So what we're going to have to do, and so I'll have a little bit of fun with this as well, is we've got to buy it for the bucket. Lime, there we go. we got to buy this for the bucket and then dump it into the back. Which is fine, I'm okay with doing that. It just takes a little bit longer, that is all. Let's get over here. Oh, we should have lowered it. Let's do that real fast. Bring it down. There we go, a little bit better. And then all we have to do is get our bucket right over and dump it in. Probably this is the way we should have been doing it the whole time, but you know what, it will be all right. There we go. And I think it'll take pretty much all of it. There we go. It has taken every bit of it. Let's bring this back down. Also, I bought something new. I bought something new, something that I wanted, and uh, yeah, I think you guys are gonna like it. It's a new Holland, by the way, as well. Oh, I'm excited. Get excited, baby. Uh, there are a few other things that we haven't purchased yet. We'll do that today. Uh, a couple people were asking me about the wheel loader. Said we've gotta get a wheel loader and a van. Somebody said the van. So I was like, well, you know what? We can do the van. As a matter of fact, I'm going the wrong way for literally everything. Back this up. So we're rocking with the New Holland 13090 right now, or as you may know it, the, uh, was it the Agri 11090, something like that? I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. This thing is cool. So we got a whole lot of work to do today. Might be a little bit of boring work, but still work that we've got to get done. First things first, we're doing lime. I have turned plowing off because every single field we had needed plowing. And that's going to take a while. However, every field that we have needs lime. That's a little bit easier to do. Uh, the grass fields needed as well. We might redo the grass fields, but I think right now we're just going to do like this. I think multi-terrain angle is turned on, which is kind of stinkowitz, but it'll be okay. Let's see. About right here, just set a, set a worker in the middle. That ought to do the trick right there. Now, this is going to be used very, very quickly, so I am going to turn on helper buy. Uh, that's going to be on fertilizer. And what that's going to do is that's just going to allow us to have just a little bit of headroom so that we don't have to keep filling the darn thing up. Now we got one more right here as well. We got the T6175. Let's back this up. There we go. And we're going to get this put... Oh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit heavy for this. We're going to stick this out there as well. I'm not really sure which field I want to put this on yet. Uh, I may just put this on field one. I think field one's going to be just fine anyway. So we've got this to do today. Also, I'm going to show you the new stuff that we bought. We're going to have to buy a few more extra things as well. There we go. So let's get this taken up to field one. Get it set on a worker. And then we'll just come back through and hit all the spots that they miss. Let's get this wheel loader and let's get the van. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's get the van. Why not? Here it is, the Rumbler van. Here, here's the thing that 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 is a thing. Uh, this is actually like a mobile workshop, so this isn't. It's not exactly what you think it is. But I wonder, can we change color without all these darn stickers everywhere? We got a sticker bomb over here. GTA would be proud. What's the color we're rocking with? New Holland. Can we go with a white as well? Let's see. We got chrome white. There we go. Hey, there's our new hauling colors right there. Let's go ahead and buy the van. Now we can work on our vehicles anywhere that we are. And 
You guys said you wanted to see the JCB wheel loader. Do we have the modded version? Yep, that is the modded version. All right, cool. Rim color, do we go with that? I think we just stick with the gray. I like the gray. I, I like the yellow more, if I'm honest, but I do like this as well. Uh, I prefer duels on the front. I think it looks better, uh, but for right, I don't know <laughs> if wheels are gonna be able to make their way and move around the map a little bit. So I think for right now, I'm just gonna stick it with the normal, just like that. And we got a new bucket. So we're gonna use the new bucket. It's the high dump bucket. However, all buckets are pretty much exactly the same. With the exception of this one. This one is something else. 8,000 liters? Yes, please. Purchase. Boom. So there you go. There's uh, exactly what you guys were looking for. We're gonna get all this stuff transferred back over to the main farm. Should be good to go. We're also running low on money as well. Look at the money just going down. There's four, three, two, one, five, three hundred, two. Wow. That's a whole lot of lime we're having to buy. Back over on the main farm now. We did get another art mechanic weight for the back of these. So this weight was released eh, not long ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. And it's great because it not only works on telehandlers, which is what it's kind of auctioned, or not auctioned for, it's kind of the way it was designed for, but really anything with a trailer hitch will work with. So I really like that, and that's why I use it with this. Now, we've got something new. What did we get? You guys see it over there in the far right-hand corner? Ooh, we got a T8, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, you guys were saying that you wanted to see something a little bit bigger. I wanted to use something a little bit bigger because going up and down all these hills is just taking it out of this equipment. So we got a big T8. Yes, we did. As a matter of fact... We should put this thing to work right away. What do you guys think? Let's see, let's jump in. Yep, yep, that's that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I did not want to throw the darn thing. I just want to get in here, cultivate, man, that's all. We're gonna take this over to field one and we're gonna start cultivating up everything that uh, the lime spreader's done. There's a couple spots that are gonna be missed. It'll be okay, I think we'll be just fine. I'm not really worried too much about it. Let's grab this. Now, we don't need a tractor this big for this job. Just straight up. This is too big for what we're doing. But it's awesome. <laughs> and I'm totally cool with that. So, we've got this. What is this? Well, this is the new case uh, cultivator disc harrow, whatever you want to call it. Well, I guess you probably it just is a disc harrow, isn't it? This thing is wide and it requires very little horsepower. And what in the world are you doing? What's the deal here? Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got idiot number one right here. Not sure what his uh, prerogative is, but <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, you, you wonder why you're called idiot number one, don't you? Oh me, oh my. Let's hit these headlands around real quick and just get this over with. All right, so we've got everything done. We've got this good. It's time to go ahead and get a little bit of disking up. There's that. Oh yeah. Now the great thing is this will rock right at 10 miles an hour without an issue, no problems whatsoever. Now, I don't think, yeah. Fast farming does not work with this. Not in the least bit. But you know what? It actually rocks pretty well on its own. I mean, 10 miles an hour with a width like this, I mean, we're, we're doing just fine. We're doing good, baby. We're doing good. So the plan here is going to be to hit two headlands and then set a worker. Hopefully the worker will do a good job. I'm sure the worker will be just fine. I mean, this is a, this is a good run for this. We are going to be planting. Get ready for it. We're going to be planting, I think, corn over here and so that we can get a huge, huge crop of corn. And then we're going to do either a wheat or barley, maybe oats, but probably more of like a wheat kind of thing uh, in the other field next to us. So we're going to have to eventually, I'm just thinking about this right now, we're going to have to swap out play the uh, tractors because this tractor, though it does a good job here, the other one is not going to be able to pull our cedar. And I need the cedar so that we can get the wheat or barley in the ground. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and just use this one tractor for our headlands and I'll swap them out. We'll get the other one out here, we'll get it all taken care of. I think it's safe to say that I use this too much. However, you can ask me or 
Mr. Clutch Simulations. Still say this is the best seeder in the entire game. 15 meters, will direct drill, does all the primary crops, seeds, fertilize, and you can fast farm with it. Come on. Like this, this is the guy right here. This is the one. The, if there was one, this would be it. Hashtag the one. Yo, yo. <laughs> so we're going to put wheat in. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special. I think wheat's going to be just fine for what we're up to. You know what? Because we can. Let's creep through just a little bit. Not using gates. We don't use gates around here. What you talking about? So again, game plan. Let's go over it real quick. Just so you guys know exactly what's going down. Let's bring ourselves down here from there. Boom, right here. Okay, so in field two right now, that is being cultivated up. We've got field one right here. This field is going to be wheat. Field two is going to be corn. Field three... It doesn't have a game plan for that yet. We'll get there. If you have an idea, let me know. Uh, smaller crop, something smaller. And then field seven and six, both are going to be grass. We can also rip up the uh, sheep pasture and the cow pasture. Though for right now, I'm sticking away from that and just going to be ripping up field seven and field six. Again, that's the game plan. Let me know if that's what you would do as well. There's our wheat. Turn it on. Give it a little bit of bump and rock and roll. This field should not take too long. We are going to be hitting two headlands and then setting a worker on it, hopefully on a straight uh, straight side. This is a tough field right here. This is a really tough field because you don't know exactly where to set the worker. So we're going to try and figure that out. I think I found the worker way. So we're going to overlap just a little bit. I'm only on my second headland right now, but I think this is the way to do it because this is a, uh, a diagonal. Uh, so this is not straight up and down. It's not side to side. We've got a diagonal here. Even though this is a, a multi-terrain angle, even though it is a multi-terrain angle, I think this is the uh, that direction <laughs> way. So hopefully everybody watching, because I know a lot of people that are watching play on console. If you guys didn't know, uh, I would say I think it's about 60 to 70% of the people that play on here play on console. Well, guess what? Multi-terrain angle not available on console which is super stinky rabble then again i'm not a big fan of it myself so i can't really say much oh watch this watch this watch this it's a little spot tough little spot to get got it i love this thing this is so cool let me know if you guys are using the amazon and also let me know do you not like this this cedar right here are you a fan are you not a fan let me know I would be really surprised if there's anybody who says that they don't. And don't don't do it just a troll. But let me know. Do you like this cedar? I love this cedar. I gotta know. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. So I think we found our spot. So I'm going to finish up what we're doing right now. And then we're going to set this guy on a worker. We've got a few little odds and ends to do around on the farmyard. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and get some fertilizer down around over on our grass fields. Well, unfortunately, our grass fields are already there. So, we're just going to throw some liquid fertilizer on there instead of going and spreading around a bunch of solid fertilizer. Now, I will say this. This is going to be a little bit heavy. <laughs> it's massive is what it is. Let's see. I believe this is liquid fertilizer, if I'm not mistaken. Let's find out. Boom. Nothing's filling up. Let's turn on our help window here and see... Is this what I think it is? Huh. Well, I can't get that to go. However, good thing, good thing, we got it right here. So we're just going to use this instead. Boom, right there. There's 1,000 for the front tank and the back tank. I'm not really sure what the back tank holds. I think it holds a lot. Yep, there's 1,000, 2,000. 3,000. I think this holds me like 5,000. Oh, no. It says it on the side, doesn't it? <laughs> yup. Yup. 5,600. That's exactly what this holds. Sweet. So this, this is a, well, it's got a party trick to it. Because this is a 40 meter sprayer. You heard that right. 40 meters. This thing is absolutely massive. Or as, uh, as Tiny loves to hear it, mahoosive. Let's see. We're going to cheat. Yeah, why not? I love to cheat. There we go. Let's just come through there and let's get this thing spread out. And I want to show you the width on this thing. There's one, two, a third fold, 
And now a fourth fold. <laughs> what? This thing's crazy. Let's get the help one turned off. We don't need that no more. All right. Go, go, go. This T6, this poor little thing, but it's pulling it at the primary speed, seven miles per hour. I mean, that's top speed for spraying. But look at this. He is just a going, man. It almost seems like super mega slow. Could just be me. Let's see if we can spin that out just a little bit. There we go. It's so big that I'm actually having a hard time controlling it. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm like... <laughs> I don't know how to try this thing. It's way too big, man. This thing is way too big. Let me know if you have used this yet. I, I don't think there's much that is larger in the game. As far as trailed sprayers, I believe this is the largest trailed sprayer that we have in the game. We'll go double check. But yes, I believe this is the largest trailed sprayer that we have. We've got a couple other ones that come kind of close, but nothing... <laughs> Nothing this size. This is just stupid crazy awesome, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, of course, just like everything else, now we're going to hit a headland with this. It's going to take us a hot minute to get around, but we are going to hit a headland with this, and then we're going to set it on a worker and set the worker on their way. We do have some trees here, and I think that we need to get rid of these trees because they are kind of in our way right now. We also should get some stuff planted. I may do that. I may not. Still not quite sure because the field actually stops right here so there's a whole lot on the other side of those trees that we're not getting i said that in 17 i've done it in 19 and i think we're just gonna have to do it again but that's one of my party tricks right there i've got a few little hacks for for lone oak or for lone oak oakfield farm or home lone oak as well uh, for oakfield farm here and cutting these trees down and plowing out around over there that is one of those party tricks. But for right now, everybody's working. Everybody's got a job to do. We're getting crop in the ground. We're getting cultivation done so that when it is time to plant corn, we can. We're getting the grass fertilized. We've got another field on the other side that needs to be fertilized as well. It's just a whole lot going on right now, and I'm super happy about it. But I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you don't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. If you got any ideas, stuff you want to see here on Oakfield Farm, let me know. Some people were asking, are we going to be going back to Ravenport? Yes, yes, we will be going back to Ravenport. That is our kind of basics uh, map. I am going to try to add the American Midwest Geo to that, and we will see what happens. I think we're going to run into problems. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.